Hey guys, welcome back. So I just want to show you some of my favorite plant supplies. Um, things that I keep out for easy reach that I can, you know, get rid of pests such as gnats and spider mites and keep things from not falling over and keeping them hydrated. Um, but yeah, here they are. The first things I wanna go over are items that I use for pest control. Uh, the first one being neem oil, which is in this beautiful bottle right here. So for the neem oil, I use for new plants that I bring in and for spider mites. And just, you know, you spray the plant down um, on the tops of the leaves, underneath the leaves, wipe them down. Um, this helps a lot with just, you know, when you're watering, it goes into the roots and then it grows into the plant so it doesn't attract bugs as much, apparently. But this is what I use, not all the time, but just for upkeep here and there if I'm starting to notice crazy things going on down there. Um, but yeah. So I decantered the neem oil into this amber bottle, which I got on Amazon. Um, I got a few of them, so just so that it looks a little bit cuter, aesthetically pleasing on my, my plant shelf. So yeah. So the next product that I use in the soil for fungus gnats, um, I like to try to keep it as natural as possible, but there's this one time during the summer I had a really bad infestation of fungus gnats and I just I couldn't take it so I purchased systemic houseplant insect control and I decantered that into an amber bottle as well these are granules and what you do is you pour it on top of the soil um, there are measurements on the back but for the most part you can pretty much eyeball how much you want to use into the soil um, so once you put it into the soil you kind of mix it in and then water your plant um, however if you want to repot a new plant and put some of this in, you can do that as well. But this definitely helped pretty much kill all the fungus gnats. It was the best thing ever in life. It was a real hot mess of a struggle. <laughs> I was just always in my face. Like, you guys know the struggle. I hate them things. I hate them so much. So yeah, systemic houseplant insect control. And I purchased this from my local garden nursery called um, Armstrong Garden. Um, and they have a few of the nurseries here in San Diego County area. But yeah, granules do last you a long time. I pretty much put them in most of my plants and so far so good. The next one I use for when I repot is a potting mat. It's super helpful of not getting soil everywhere like on the carpet or on the vinyl flooring. It's just an easier cleanup and keeps things in one area. Um, I purchased this on Amazon as well, super helpful. It buttons on the sides and creates a little, a little bowl, a bowl of goodness of soil and new plants and gets in your soil and your fingernails. It's the greatest thing ever in life. But yeah, this is super helpful. Um, I suggest definitely getting this for sure. Like this helps so much with repotting. Other than that, usually what I also do is have any extra plastic bags. I like to put soil in there and just kind of like um, dump soil in there and kind of use that. Um, but yeah, these this is probably one of my favorite things ever to repot things in. So there's that. <laughs> Another thing that I also wanted to keep things simple and aesthetically pleasing is when I'm staking my plants. When I restaked my Monstera, I they had like a tie of some sort that just was like rubbing into the plant stalk stem itself. So I purchased Velcro Velcro strips brands. They're you can get these at Home Depot in the garden section in the, on the outside area where you get your pots and um, soil from. But basically you could cut these into strips and you just wrap it around your um, moss pole, your um, bamboo stick, anything like that and cut to size and you can reuse it, super helpful. One side is very soft so it rubs lightly against the plant and it doesn't rub into it like twist ties or um, twine that people use as well. But definitely this is 
a lifesaver. I love this so much. And it also helps with my Monstera, so I can do longer strips and kind of just pull back. Um, but however, super, super wonderful to have. So I definitely recommend getting this as well. It's my favorite companion of all time. <laughs> it's my watering can. Um, so I purchased this on Amazon and I absolutely love this color. It's like an amber, reddish, rustic color. It's gorgeous. It's plastic and um, on, honestly, like, it's just so aesthetically pleasing. And that's what I love. Like, I like to be my, my space to be aesthetically pleasing and calm and comforting and serene. Um, I don't know if you can tell from my YouTube videos or on my Instagram, but nonetheless, <laughs> I purchased this on the Amazon and on the Amazon. Yes. <laughs> um, super inexpensive. I think it was like $15. Um, but yeah, it reaches into the smaller plants really well because of the spout and the spout here is low where it doesn't collect too much water if I got down to the bottom you know I can pretty much dry this out if I needed to but yes this is my watering can it's gorgeous I love it it's all the rage but yes get yourself one <laughs> the last thing is going to be my moisture meter from Classy Casita on Amazon. Now I purchased this for the winter. Uh, for the most part, um, I mean, now I can pretty much tell when my plants are thirsty and dry, but this helps for the winter time only because uh, like, I don't wanna say, I don't know, when it's just cold. Like I don't want my fingers to be cold from sticking my finger in the soil. So this has helped a lot. Um, on the back, it does go over the plant watering guide which is pretty cool um, the different zones available on the meter um, so that also shows on the meter here dry moist wet so that's super helpful to have um, with the watering guide on the back um, so that helps for the winter time just I don't know I don't want to get my fingers cold and wet because for the most part during the winter your soil stays pretty um, damp and moist because it's not so dry as in the summertime so this has been super helpful to have as well so those are my favorite plant supplies that I like to use um, if you have any other like recommendations on anything else I would love to know please comment down below um, your thoughts of any of these products that I mention and what your thoughts are about them if you found better ones things like that that would be amazing like why not let's help each other out out here in this house plant world um, but yeah <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye guys